Um, we just go there quickly as I <laughs> summarize more of my final thoughts. Um, again, I do think it was a good first attempt. Like there was, a, there's a lot of content in this game. Like after the main story, you have like two different a uh, two different side missions to do for every level. Uh, like characters have stuff from fifth, get fifty rings and finish the level. Uh, beat it in a certain time. Knuckles has like get beat it in one minute, and don't get A to call him, and stuff like that. Like so, there, there's uh, quite a number of uh, stuff to do in this game. Like besides the main story, and you also have the Chara Garden, which a lot of people spend a lot of time on. Um, I don't really care for it too much in this game. Like it's a lot better in SA2. It's all right in this game, but it's more of an afterthought, uh, to be honest. But, um, it's still, it's still fun to uh, mess around with the chows and go through the chow races and all that. I'm not going to bother showing it off in this play for us. It's more something you kind of want to go through in your spare time. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly uh, show off all the different chow garden areas, but yeah. Now you've got fighting gloves. To store up power, hold down the action button. Now you can do the maximum heat knuckles attack. Hooray! So if we just hold down B. Yeah, that basically acts like the uh, launch, launch speed attack, the light speed attack. Um, but since there are no enemies around here, we can't exactly use it. But I just thought... Thought I may as well show that off. But no, but yeah. As for everything, other things, like, I think the hub worlds are fine. Like, I wish there was a little bit more to find in the hub worlds, but I think they did a decent enough job. Like, there are a bunch of different landmarks, and it's easy to traverse through the hub worlds. Like, you can do all your abilities that you can use in the main stages so yeah but it's just it's, since there aren't like any like that many sp specific things to find in the hub worlds that aren't like related to the story it's not the most exciting to look around for stuff but you can find the emblem so that's something but anyways yeah here are the chat. This is the Chow Garden for the Mystic Bruins. We can go to the Station Square one right here. Yeah, you have little warp pads. You can warp seamlessly from one to another. And you have a shop here as well. And one thing interesting about the Air Carrier one is that. I guess you can say that this is the missile that Eggman use, uses in Tales of Story. Or maybe it's a different one, but it, I just like to think that it's the, um, the one in Tales of Story. But like, if we go here, back to the Egg Carrier. We can see that we have to type in Eggman here to enter the... To, uh, into this door, but if we get the wrong, if we do it wrong, something falls on us, which is kind of funny. But you just put in Eggman and then the door opens. But that's pretty much it. If you want to actually see like Chow Garden gameplay or something, you're gonna have to look elsewhere because that's not really something I'm too. Uh, I'm no expert in like how the Chow Garden works. Like it's pretty complex overall but again it's more it's more it's um a little bit more well it's a lot more fleshed out in SA2 but even still in this game it's there's still a lot of depth to it so if you want to get more into how everything works and all that you're gonna have to look elsewhere um because I only know the the, the basics like certain animals give Chow specific attributes like flight speed and stamina and all that and giving it giving them fruit gives them a lot of stamina and all that jazz but um yeah in terms of like other things 
like, there's the... You go through trial. This is where you really, you really would go to get the emblems and stuff for the action stage. These, these secondary challenges for the action stages. You can just choose the stages and it will instantly go to the the challenge that you haven't done yet. Like, if you have if you haven't done the second one, it will it'll go to that. Like, it like gradually goes to... Um, goes through them like it, you you do the stages in the story and it does level C and then it will do level B when you go to the next and then level A and all that and sub game I believe this is just all the mini games for the characters so and then we go to emblem results and this pretty self explanatory but yeah Mission mode. Okay, well, I may, may as well show mini game collection off. Yeah, we only got two, but there are a ton of game gear Sonic games here you can play, and it's actually it's a pretty cool bonus, I think. But uh, yeah, that was in included for the DX port, I believe. And mission mode, I'm gonna show off a little bit of it. I'm not gonna do the entire thing, but I'm gonna show a couple of missions just just to show you guys what it's about. But I think it was a nice little bonus. Like, I do think I do think like mission mode was a cool little extra to make you like look around the hub worlds more. Cause like, as I said, the main game doesn't really there isn't it doesn't really require you to look around that much to find things. But with the mission mode, you actually have to explore the hub world more if you want to actually like find these little mission cards. And some of them actually require you to go to levels. So we go here. Well, we have to take this burger shop stand guy and place it within that circle there. And there we go. Sometimes it can be really easy, but other times it can be a pain. Like, there's mission 53 where you have to do the, this really specific trick with the ice cap section and the ramps and it's a it's just a pain but yeah i'm gonna do that one other mission where you have to get 100 rings and go to the helicopter area so basically it means go to speed highway and again get 100 rings here and then just go to the place where you go in the helicopter and you get and then you beat the mission so yeah just don't get hit really but yeah, it, I do li I do like a uh, mission mode overall. Like it, it's not too special. Like a lot of the missions don't do too much, but they uh, they off offer a little bit of extra content. Um, really, like the or I can I, I can just fall. That works too. But yeah, they they offer a little bit of extra content for the game, and I mean. The, the extra challenges for the levels themselves are fine enough, I guess, but they aren't really that great. Like, they're definitely, they're, they definitely put a lot more effort into the secondary missions for SA2 that compared to this game, but, I mean, it's still okay enough, but either way, uh, I, do, I do think Mission Mode was a decent addition to this game overall. But I need 100 rings, I don't have enough. Yeah, they're a lot easier to... It's a lot easier to avoid Orbanauts in 3D, obviously. Alright. I don't think I'm going to get enough. Can I get enough rings, please? Maybe I can get enough soon. I mean... Yeah, that's the area you need to go to, but I need a hundred rings, so please be a ring box or something, a ring capsule rather. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back. But I don't think there's anything else I have. Oh no, well, the power-ups, I guess, like. Like with all the different uh, upgrades in in the game and all that, 
I, I do like the idea of like the upgrades. You get more upgrades as you go through the game and all that. And that's something I kind of hope they bring back in a future game at some point. Well, they kind of did it on, in Unleashed HD, but yeah. Um, it's something I do kind of miss in the series, but I, I don't... It's not really that great in this game. It's definitely a lot better in SA2, but I, I do still kind of like it in this game. Like, it's not... It really isn't that, that grand or special in this game, but I do like it. Like, and it they did a much better job with it in the sequel, so yeah. Alright, uh... This is kind of getting stupid right now. I don't think I can even do this. There, there aren't enough rings around here. Yeah. Unless there's anything around here. Nope. Alright then. Well, you got, you got the idea. But yeah, like, Sonic obviously has the most missions overall, compared to everyone else. Um, and I think everyone, well... You see here, like, the, depending on, like, the colour, that's, like, the character who... Which character does that specific mission. But yeah. That's basically what mission mode entails. And I think, again, I think it's a nice little bonus. But yeah, that's pretty much all of SA1. Uh, so, I don't really have anything else to show you guys. So, again, thanks for watching us the Sonic Adventure playthrough. And I'll see you guys next time uh, for the Sonic series for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. That's something I'm really looking forward to because I, I don't care what anyone says. I love SA2, but yeah. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, excuse me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.